morning and welcome to Coffee with Karma. So, I don't know about you, but I have loved dance since I was a little girl. And I've studied multiple forms of dance and I've watched like all the dance. And my two favorite dancers are Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire. And so, Today, I would like to share with you how what I've learned from watching these two amazing dancers can be applied to being an author. So let's get right to it. But first, hi, my name is Karma Spence, and I help entrepreneurs write a lead attracting book in 90 days or less. So, what is so amazing about Fred and Jean? as I like to call them, because they're, they're my buds, right? <laughs> Number one is personal branding. Jean and Fred are both amazing dancers, but they are worlds apart different. Fred is much more stylized. He's more ballroom. You watch him and Ginger, and they just they float along the, the dance floor. Jean is a much more visceral dancer and he tends to uh, one thing i just love about him and it's the same thing i love about jackie chan i like to call jackie chan the gene kelly of martial arts and gene kelly the jackie chan of dance because the one thing they do so brilliantly is incorporate their environment into their choreography and these are are like hallmarks of their brands so fred is the stylized um cityfied gentleman and Jean is he he's always like the sweet guy next door who's also an amazing dancer i never had a guy next door who was also an amazing dancer but if i did it would have been gene kelly right so point number two so that's the important thing about personal branding is that when you get your brand right People don't even have to hear you talk or read a word from you before they know it's you. They look and they see, yes, that's Jean. Yes, that's Fred. It's, it's a style. It's a way of expressing. And it flows through everything you do, through your books, through your business, through your videos, through your everything. Your marketing, everything. So that's one thing personal branding. Thing number two, perfection through practice. Now, I just got through telling you how amazing Jean and Fred were. And yes, it, it may be possible that they were, they had a natural talent to excel in, in dance, but that's not what got, got them to be to their mastery. They practiced and they practiced and they practiced and they practiced and they practiced some more. Any professional worth their salt knows that to master a skill, even one that you find easier than other people, takes time. I mean, I write almost every day. And I'm always experimenting with new ways of writing to kind of stretch myself. And that's how I've mastered this particular skill. Yes, I may have had a flair for communication as a child, but I could have taken that in any direction. I happen to take it in writing. So you need to practice. So don't worry if you get things wrong, if you're new to something. Mastery comes through practice and it doesn't matter whether you have a talent for it or not. And I've talked about this in another, in other podcast episodes as well. Talent is a, a flair for something, but it doesn't give you mastery. Practice does. Thing number three, collaborate for better impact, for greater impact. Gene Kelly's awesome by himself, but get him partnered with Sid Charisse and oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that whole scene in uh, Singing in the Rain where he, he's like this God, young country guy who comes to the city, no words, an entire dance number, all the communication is done in dance. And he's this young guy who comes to the city and then he meets Sid Charisse, who's the flapper. <laughs> and and it, it's just amazing. And then the, the completely different, but also they collaborated in Brigadoon and it's 
my favorite dance number. Oh my gosh, I'm getting for clumped. I love I love Gene Kelly. Um, anyway, their dance number in Brigadoon together, where it's they're talking about the Heather. I think it's called the Heather on the Hill. I love that dance number. I mean, Gene, Gene and Sid dance with each other. They dance with the trees. They dance up and down the hill. Um, it's just, it's, it's beauty. So when you collaborate with others, and I'm not saying that you need to co-author. When I'm talking about collaborating on a book, you're collaborating with your editor to bring your writing up and make it more impactful. You're collaborating with your designer because if you get the right cover and the right interior design, it makes your book flow even better. A book is not a lone thing. It can be. It's not as good if you don't collaborate with others to help. You want collaborators who will call you on the stuff that isn't making sense. And here's a good example from this. So George Lucas, when he did the original Star Wars movies, he had collaborators that said, well, you know, this isn't working. Why don't you move over here? When he did the prequels, he was surrounded by yes men and yes women. And they did not call. And you came out with three crappy movies. <laughs> don't even get me started. Anyway, collaboration for greater impact. Working with others can help you level up anything that you can do on your own. Thing number four, versatility and range. Fred and Jean, yes, they, they played to their strengths, but they were flexible in experimenting with other things and trying new things out and expanding their skill set by bringing in this versatility and this range. And not only that, they weren't just dancers. They were actors. They were singers. Maybe not as strong as others, but they were, I mean, one another favorite scene from Brigadoon is the song I'd totally forgotten was in there. We watched it for Christmas. Almost like being in love. It's in that number, Gene sing, you can hear in his singing that he's falling in love and he's feeling these new things and he's and then he's dancing. That's also expressing that. And the acting is coming through the dancing because he's having a conversation with Van Johnson. And when you bring your versatility of skills, because believe me, you have a versatility of skills. You are not a one skill wonder. You have a versatility of skills. Use those to infuse your books and your business with all the things that you are awesome about. And number five, embracing technology. Both dancers were pioneers in using film technology to enhance their dance. And in fact, Gene Kelly did an entire movie, Singing in the Rain, about embracing new technologies. I love that, I love that movie. <laughs> anyway, um, so as an author, you can embrace new technologies to help bring your message and your words to the audience. So first it used to just be like a book, you know, paper, a book. And then there was digital books. And now there's augmented reality. And soon we're even gonna be able to use virtual reality. Embrace these new, AI is starting to impact how we write. Um, all these new technologies, embrace them and use them to enhance what you're doing, not take over. Because when, and I'm actually going to be writing about this, uh, AI is amazing and, and I, I play with it all the time. In fact, I'm addicted to this little app on my phone called Tune Me. It started off where it would just like tunify images you already had, but now it's got this thing where you have images and you can slap your face on them, which is really fun and one of one of the things they did uh they you either did the one picture where you or they would do a series and there's this one series that's kind of 60s and in one of them i kid you not i have three arms and one leg and the thing is it takes you a moment to notice that because you're like oh you look really put together and then you're like wait a minute 
where's the other leg? Wait a minute. Where'd that extra arm come from? And so I was think I'm working on an, an essay where I talk about how you need to be careful about how you use AI because you can end up with something that's stunningly beautiful with three arms and one leg. So embrace technology, but use it to make you better, not to make you lazy. So there you go. The five things that Gene and Fred taught me about being an author. They are personal branding, perfection through practice, collaboration for greater impact, versatility and range, and embracing technology. That is it for today. I will see you next week. So this is Karma Spence saying ciao for now. Happy Fun Friday. <laughs>